The U.S. has invaded New Guinea and have set up airports along the coast. Now the Japanese Air Force is tasked with taking them back. A flight of KF-43s and A6M2s are sent out to attack the airfields. After successful strafes on the airfield, K bombers are sent out in the cover of night in order to bomb the remaining ships. Hey guys, welcome back to the Bro Slimson channel. We're in the KI-43 Premium here on the New Guinea map as you can see. And right now we're taking off, ready to complete the objective, which is taking out air threats and eliminating ground uh, targets. And we're going to also tar uh, attack ships as well, but we're not going to really do much damage to them because we can't really get Kates over there at the moment because we have to deal with the P-38s and the P-39s over there. Because um, those are the two planes that we saw, so we got to take them them out first, and then we'll be able to attack. And it's a lot easier to do that at nighttime, so chances are that's what we'll be doing. So right off the bat, to my 11 o'clock, we've already spotted an air target. So I'm gonna go ahead and jettison my bombs right here because the mission is to eliminate air threats first, then ground units, because we don't just want to. You can't land on an airfield when there's airplanes in the area, especially. So we're gonna have to take him out first. Also, we want to defend our bases. Uh, because we don't really want to lose any ground. So I'm going to have to take him out first, then we'll attack the other uh, airstrips. So hopefully this all goes well. So let's see what happens, see who this guy is. So it turns out there are two air targets. One of them's a lot lower and farther than the other. The other one's higher up and it's much more of a threat to me because he's also much closer. So right now I'm trying to target this guy right now. But uh, he is he's pretty high up there, so I don't know if I'll be able to get him. He's also really fast. He actually turns out to be a P-38, so... Definitely a dangerous threat, especially at that high altitude. So I'm just going to follow him up and leave the other guy to be uh, alone or whatever, because I don't want to have this dude on my six while trying to fight someone else. So the dude knows I'm there, and he's going to go ahead and just dive and try to get out of there. And, yeah, he's probably going to try to be in Zingy, so I'm just going to let him go ahead and just dive. I'm going to stick on him. So after his dive, he ends up coming back for me uh, in his... Another dive, I guess. I'm gonna go and just try dodging that because I don't want to get just shredded right now. So I'm gonna go and just pull down. I said, go ahead and stall out there a little bit, but then I'm gonna pull up. I love the negative G effect in this game now. It's definitely a lot more interesting to have it in there. Something to take into consideration with pulling certain maneuvers now. But, anyways, he's now super far away again, totally out of gun range. So I'm gonna keep on him. The other dude's way out of the fight by now, so I don't have to worry about him. This time he's targeting a teammate, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots while I can. Not sure if any of them hit, but something obviously hit him, because I'm gonna go ahead and get a kill crater right here. He's gonna go ahead and just dive down. I'm not too sure what happens here. It looks like a lot of people are getting hit. And our guy goes ahead and just dies, and the P38 catches on fire and gets blown up. And um, I don't know if it was a kamikaze or if they just hit each other a lot. I'm not too sure, but either way, the threat's eliminated. We lost the team. Now we're going to go ahead and do our first assault on the airfield. This time it's just me, but other times we have more people in it gets really crazy. So, yeah, let's, let's just start the attack, I guess. So I'm trying my best right now to not just get blown up because I don't have to fly the way back here. So I'm playing very cautiously and because of that. I'm not getting a lot of kills at the moment because, you know, I'm flying low, I'm flying high, and I'm just getting a few hits each time. And this is not a super strong armament, so it's not going to kill these guys on the first strafe, obviously. Unless I, you know, took more time on my shots or whatever, but I don't want to get shot out by these flat guys. And it's tough to do a 90 degree shot, to be honest, though. So they have barriers and everything, so they're tough to hit, for sure. So right now, I'm just kind of doing my best. And then after about this guy right here, I get some good hits, but he doesn't go ahead and go down. But there's a P-38 right on my 6 right here, so I'm going to pull off and just start focusing on him now, because... I don't want to get taken out by one of those 30 something millimeters. Because, yeah, that'll do a lot of damage. So, I'm going to just get my lead here. I actually don't think he knows I'm here yet until right about now. Um, I think he just happened to fly in here by accident or something. I saw that there's smoke and just wanted to check it out. Not too sure, but he definitely checked it out for a long time. Because I'm on a 6 right now. So, I get one good shot to the canopy right here, and that's going to be enough to scare him. And he's just going to get a bailout right there. And. Probably not a bad idea actually because I was gonna blow him up nonetheless, so might as well save the pilot. Now let's continue on with the air attack. So right here I'm actually gonna take a little bit more time with this shot because I'm deciding I need to get some kills now. This AA needs to go so I can land and just take his base. I'm gonna go ahead and get that guy right out of there. And then right here I'm gonna go ahead and get hit actually, and I actually managed to survive. I kill this dude, 
the flag blows up right in front of me. I don't even know if it hit me or if it just happened to blow up in front of me, but it definitely took a good chunk out of my wing. I thought I was dead. Like, I honestly thought I was going to die there, but I got really lucky. Just scraped the wing. The damage was dispersed throughout the new damage model. I was okay, but now we got, what is that, another P39 right here, so I'm going to go ahead and try taking him out again. And I think I got him. He's definitely, like, right in my crosshairs, and I'm pretty sure the Oscar can outturn him. However, uh, you might end up with head on heads if you start turn fighting, so just be careful with it. But he's gonna head and just try doing some scissoring right here, which doesn't really help him out too much because I'm not willing to really overshoot. And then right there, both of his aerial lungs get blasted off and he starts in a death spiral. So he's gonna head and bail out of there, obviously. lucky enough surviving that flag but now I got someone on my six again and he's pretty much dead on me so I'm just heading and just like pull as sharp as I can right here and I'm actually pulling really hard G turns right here which is I didn't expect the Oscar to really turn that hard but it, it really turns really well actually so I'm gonna just turn with all my might here because I want to get on this dude six but I end up losing him in the process now I'm gonna go ahead and just land here but right when I land flack or something hits me and it blows my wing off and it's such a shame. I mean, I could have made it. Like, look at all those. They're coming from the ships. So now I'm like, okay, we got to do something about those ships. Now. So we start off with our dive over here. And I'm pulling some pretty insane negative cheese right there. So my dude's like, all the blood is like going through his head or something. And he's getting lightheaded. And not too much of a deal right now. But I'm going to just drop those bombs. Now keep in mind, these are only like 600 kilogram bombs. And they're not doing a lot of damage to full blown battleships and whatever. So I'm like, this isn't gonna work. We can't just bomb these guys five times every single time. Now I know it's good hits and whatever. We probably almost disabled that ship. But as far as I know, there's still at least two or three guns left on there which could easily kill me when I'm on land. So the ship's technically not disabled. We'll have to hit these things a whole bunch. Like we need torpedoes or a G4M or something. Too bad I don't actually have the G4M because that should be nice. As you can see, that ship over there is attacking me. Now I'm coming in way too hot over here, so I'm deciding, okay, maybe I should land. Because it, I know it's not, it's not gonna end well if I land. I'm just gonna overshoot. In fact, by the time I'm slow enough to where I can, like, touch down, it's way too, it's, it's way too late. I'm already at the end of the strip. So I'm gonna just pull off last second here. Plus, those ships are still there. They're still firing at me the whole time. Almost stall out there, but I recover and just touch ground. But you can you can already see all those tracers go by, so we're gonna have to figure something else out because this is an insane amount of like gunfire coming at me right now. And landing while that's going on isn't gonna be a good idea because it's, it's obvious you're just gonna get shot. So I know I don't have any bombs, but I can still blow up the guns on it, so I'm hoping to disable it, but it's just way too much gunfire. There's no way I can survive this. <laughs> and then I try going for the kamikaze, but by then it's way too late. So that was obviously a thing. So this begins the first night assault, however, I'm probably going to be switching over to K after this because this plane does not do a lot of damage when it comes down to payload. That kid over there did manage to get a hit with a torpedo, but unfortunately did not kill the ship, only like took out a few guns on the left pole side, whatever. And I'm gonna just like try to get this guy over here, but I managed to just get myself shot up or something. Um, yeah, it didn't work out too well. I seriously cannot wait for the G4M. By the time you guys see this video, the G4M might be out. I kind of doubt it, but I kind of hope so at the same time. But I'm using the Kate right now, and I'm with another guy. However, it'll be tough to stay in formation in the darkness, whatever. And I think he actually has a bad takeoff. So I'm going in by myself, which is a little bit risky because all the flak's going to be concentrated on me. But it should work out pretty well. I know I do get a torpedo hit, but you guys can see for yourself. Alright, so I'm going to let the footage play here, because it actually looks really cool just to have on the ships. In my opinion, just look at all the flak around. Like, these are just tracers, yeah, like, they're actually shooting a lot more than what it looks like, but those are just the tracers, and they look so much cooler in the darkness. I wish that they looked this cool at daytime, but uh, nighttime is when it gets really epic. 
so I was afraid I was going to get shot down there, so I go ahead and drop it from a distance, which does lower my accuracy, so I'm not really sure where it's going to land, and it doesn't land where I necessarily want it, and it does land at a really awkward angle, so it probably didn't penetrate all the way through. Actually, I don't think it penetrated at all. It killed maybe a couple guns on it, I don't know, probably. It probably just ricocheted, honestly. So that was kind of a fail, but I'm not having it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just pull around here and just strafe it with my only 507.7 millimeters, which honestly don't do a lot of damage in it. This is like one of the worst iron sights I've ever seen, but this actually looks like pretty cool at nighttime. It's like watching all this, and I can kind of see the muzzle flashes of the guns, so I'm like working so hard just to blow them up. And I probably should have kamikaze there, but I was hoping I'd be able to do more damage uh, just by strafing the aircraft than by actually kamikaze -ing. Because Kamikazes don't do too much damage just by themselves. You need like a bomb or something on you. Now that I think about it, I wonder if I should have just Kamikaze with the torpedo. I don't know. Does that do damage, guys? Let me know. Or I could have gone with the six uh, 50 kilogram bombs. I don't know. I guess there's other things I could have done to a chair. But I honestly didn't think I was going to get that close to the plane anyways. But he's firing more. Uh, and I'm hit again. I'm just way out of the fight. So that sucked. But we'll go in with another run. The game crashed right then. That really sucked because it looked so epic. And then the game crashes on me like that. So I got really upset there, but man, I really wish I could have saw all the whole thing right there, but oh well. Alright, so me and him are gonna take off again and hopefully do a lot of damage. I don't know if he gets a good takeoff or not, so we'll have to see. I don't know, so far it looks pretty good. Let's hope you can keep it. Oh man. Oh no. Alright, whatever. Just me again. Let's do it. Man, poor guy. I think he's been trying to take off the carrier for like so long now. Um, if you guys want to know how to do it, just 100% throttle with the gate. Rudder right or left, depending on where you are. Stay clear of that thing. Just go straight once you're off. Lift up the gears and just hold it still. Let yourself fall a little bit, but don't pull up too much or otherwise you'll stall out. Alright, so someone else has already started the attack. However, I messed up so bad, I accidentally dropped my torpedo, thinking it was my guns. And that really sucked, because now we've got a torpedo. And that one's already going to get torpedoes, it's kind of a waste of a torpedo. Uh, so I'm just shooting right here, trying to get those guns out, while that torpedo just comes in right on them. I was hoping it'd blow right in front of me, but it didn't. Oh, I actually got a gun kill right there. So I think that's going to come in at a really weird angle, but I think it's enough to kill it. This thing's already been hit by like a million torpedoes. We got a naval kill credit, man. We didn't do anything to it. Like our back gunner might have hit it a little bit. It just happened to hit at the right time. Like I bet it just barely wounded back there and once that short burst kills it. I don't know, but we got a lot of XP from that one, so that was quite nice. And there's just my uh, poor torpedo back there. Totally wasted. If it was an open guys, like on the G4M, which is not actually there yet, but eventually I could have just had to move a little bit right and hit the other guy over there. I'm gonna light them up now. Oh man, it looks, it's like hard to look at. The muzzle's so bright. And I think most of our shots are missing. Even if I do hit the ship, it's probably not doing that much damage. But it is shooting quite a bit. I don't even know if it's at us or not. Another ground strafe. Well, not a ground strafe. Naval strafe. Let's see how it goes. So this ship's firing pretty heavily at us. We just got hit in the windshield there by like 220 mils right there. Which does a lot of damage to this plane, to be honest. And we're gonna hit more and more. And I actually got quite a bit of ground kills right there. I don't know if it was quite a bit, it was like one or two maybe. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the back gun and see what I can do. Not a lot of damage, but it's alright. Uh, we're, we're just suppressing the fire right now. Just trying to get that ship. Um, just let them know that we're a threat. Uh, now of course I gotta try to again, but we're gonna go ahead and just get hit one final time and it just ends this plane. So, yeah, we, we kinda died. Oh, terrible time. Oh. This video is getting quite long, so I might have to make a part two to it. But um, yeah, let's just see if I can finish up the night battle right here. Alright, so our teammate killed the last battleship, so I'm just landing here taking Duna. Uh, one of our other allies just didn't land quite properly, and he was in tiny bits. So we managed 
is to secure Buna and capture it. So now we can spawn here and everything. It's our base now. And we'll have battleships here now and we'll have our own AA. So this place is pretty secure. So I mean, I think we'll be holding on to it for a while. Uh, so this video is quite long now. So you guys will see us attack Port Moresby in the next video. So if you guys are interested in a ground attack slash naval assault battle with the Kate and Ki-43 premium, all that kind of stuff, formation, blah, blah, blah. Then stay tuned for part two of this video, Attack on Port Moresby. Should be pretty epic, a lot of cool stuff happens, and yeah. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you made it this far, and if you haven't, then you won't hear me say this, but leave a like anyways, um, if, especially if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, don't, don't leave a like, it's fine. But if you did enjoy, make sure you do leave that like. And man, I totally just failed right there. I don't even know why I pulled my gears. That was a complete accident. But um, yeah, make sure to comment down below any future suggestions or anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video on the Bros Films channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. G Knight from the Bros Films channel. Signing off.